Hello you guys and welcome back to the vlog. This is the first Ramadan vlog of 2024. I cannot believe Ramadan is tomorrow. That is so crazy to me. It is so true like Ramadan comes at the time you need it the most and I am just so excited. I feel like it's going to be such an amazing and blessed month inshallah. So this is going to be the first week of Ramadan. We're going to do a whole weekly vlog. So today is Sunday. I'm at the grocery store stocking up on things for the first week of Ramadan. Um, I pretty much have like no groceries in my fridge and I need to like get the goods. We don't even have dates so it's like I need to go to the grocery store. I actually wrote out my iftar plans for the week. I like to do that at the beginning of the week anyway so that when I go to the grocery store I know exactly what I'm shopping for. So Monday, which is the first day of Ramadan, I'm gonna make a big batch of lentil soup that we can eat throughout the week. I love breaking my fast on lentil soup, vegetable soup, just any kind of soup I love just love soup in Ramadan so we're gonna do that and then for our main meal we're gonna eat saffron rice chicken fatouche and hummus I've never made hummus before but I'm pretty sure it's like really easy and I hate store-bought hummus so I'm like we just need to make it ourselves Tuesday I'm gonna make luchia and I'm gonna try to make enough to eat it on Wednesday as well because like cooking every single day like a new meal is just a lot especially just like trying to come up with new ideas so i'm gonna try to make stuff that like can last more than one day thursday i'm gonna attempt kusa mahshi which are stuffed zucchinis and squash never done that before but after the grape leaves i feel like that'll be easy i'll make enough so we can eat it on friday as well and saturday and sunday i'll cook but i'm just like I'll figure that out later. That's a little bit too far away from now. I'm gonna get some stuff for Suhoors as well. My husband wants me to get some things to juice with because he likes to make fresh juice in the juicer. So he told me to get carrots, celery, and ginger and we already have apples, so we'll do that. Anyways, okay, let's head into the grocery store and get what we need. I am still enjoying my last cup of morning coffee. I mean, my husband made our last coffee brand this morning. They bring every little bit. Okay, let's go do this. Okay, I just left the first grocery store and I got everything I needed except for dates, which are obviously like the most important thing. So I'm heading to another grocery store and I'm pretty sure they'll, they have them. And if they don't, there's like a few other grocery stores that I can try. Hopefully someone is bound to have dates. And if they don't, then I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay. Say bismillah. Let's go see. We found them, thankfully. I knew they would have them here. Okay, you guys, I'm back from the grocery store. I thought I would do a little haul of everything we got. Tonight, I decided to just do turkey sandwiches so, since I'm gonna be cooking so much this next week. Like, mm -mm, I'm not trying to be in the kitchen all night. And um, it's already like almost 6.30, so we just, I'm not doing all that today. So first we got some lamb for the kusta, and this actually is halal from my grocery store, which is amazing. Some ground bison. I actually prefer bison over ground beef. It just like has a better taste to me. Some chicken for the mojilla. I'm gonna make fatouche salad tomorrow, so I got some radish. Typically, I would wash all of this before putting it in the fridge, but I'm not feeling that today, so we'll do it tomorrow. A cucumber, fresh mint, and then celery and carrots to use for the juice in the morning. I like to keep my lemons in this little um, organizing container. Some potato chips. I just couldn't help myself. We'll eat these tonight with the turkey sandwiches. Vegetable broth, some cheese for the sandwiches, and some onions. Now that I have my fridge and my pantry organized, it makes putting up groceries like so much easier. Great. Stocked up on some olive oil. I don't understand why olive oil is so expensive. This was literally like $30. Some yogurt for sahur, banana. Oh my gosh, so I have this really, really yummy um, almond flour chocolate chip cookie recipe. I don't know why, I just like only make certain things during Ramadan and this is one of those things I like to make during the month. It's super healthy. It only has like almond flour, coconut oil, honey, and chocolate chips. And it's so delicious, so I'm gonna make that at some point and I will show you when I do. I got some chickpeas for the hummus, tomatoes. I got a bunch of fruit, so I got raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. I feel like the fruit that I love eating during Ramadan is not in season right now. Like me and my husband were saying, we love eating watermelon um, in Ramadan, but right now it is not 
watermelon season. So we're just gonna stick with berries for now. Um, was that it? I think that was it. Good morning, you guys. It is the first day of Ramadan. So Ramadan Mubarak. We did not get off to a good start. <laughs> so Fajr came in like 6.38. I got up at like 6.30. I came downstairs to get some water and like literally as soon as I was about to fill my water up the Adhan went off and I did not even get to drink water and I'm so mad at myself because I was awake like I don't know just could not get out of bed we had the hardest time going to sleep last night because the time changed so we literally did not fall asleep until like after one so we're both like so tired my husband is like exhausted and he has to go um perform and be at work and i feel really bad but i feel like that's how it is during ramadan like you just take a little bit to adjust and then it gets better but i'm using this ice roller to just help me wake up a little bit this morning this month i'm gonna really try not to go back to sleep after fajr it'll just be so nice to get up early and have an early start to the day Johnny is here with me and he's drinking water, if you can hear him. I got this other type of ice roller. It's the one where you literally like rub the ice on your face. Johnny, this, I promise this is not food. Oh yes, that's gonna feel so good. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my God. That feels so good. It is 8.30. My husband just left to go to work. Um, while he was like showering and getting ready, I was reading the English translation of the Quran. This is the clear Quran. So Veiled Collection gifted us the Dua journals for Ramadan and I just thought that was so sweet and I really want to try to incorporate this into my routine. So I'll read some of, the, some of the Quran in the morning and then write a little bit in my journal. And it just has places where you can like write out your Duas and make your intention. So I'm definitely going to be incorporating that every day inshallah so i think my plan for the morning i have a bunch of work i need to do on my computer so i'm gonna sit here and do that and then i'll go upstairs take a shower get ready for the day i have some stuff to film so i will do that a little bit later on when i'm more awake hopefully but i will link this little ice roller down below oh my god this is game changing many hours later I pretty much spent the whole day on my computer doing editing and just like catching up on some things today has been hard I'm not like hungry or thirsty I just have like zero energy like even walking up the stairs it's like taking it out of me so I'm trying to like I don't know just get it together I need to find the energy to cook I think that's gonna be the biggest struggle this Ramadan is just having the energy to do what I usually do. I've been filming a campaign um, that's gonna go live I think after Ramadan, but it's like a day in my life. So I'm gonna film myself cooking for that video. I'm gonna start on the lentil soup, which is literally the easiest thing in the entire world. I had no idea how easy it was until I made it myself. Basically, you chop up a whole onion, you saute it, in a pot with um, olive oil, salt, cumin, and then you add your lentils, add water or chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever you like, let that come to a boil, and that's it, and then you blend it. I know some people add like carrots and celery, which obviously you can, but my mom never did that, so I don't either. I feel like we always just do what our parents do. I'm gonna do half chicken broth, half water. Just adds a little more flavor. I got this new Smeg tea kettle. So freaking cute. Now basically, we're just gonna let it come to a boil and then we'll puree it. Okay, let's find a hummus recipe. I'm gonna use the recipe by Feel Good Foodie. I really like her recipes on Instagram. So she said, oh, okay, warm water, not cold water. 
Oh, it's a peony. I don't have a peony. Okay, I need to go to the grocery store anyways, so I'll just go and grab that. So, uh, chickpeas, tahini, garlic, salt, lemon juice. And she says ice cubes. Why didn't I get tahini yesterday? Okay, I'm back at the grocery store. I really thought I got everything I needed yesterday, but obviously not. So I need tahini, rice. How can I let myself run out of rice during Ramadan? I also want to get some coconut water because I drank it last Ramadan and I remember it just helping me stay so much more hydrated. It has electrolytes in it and it's just really good to keep you hydrated. So we're going to get some of that. And then if they have any good fruit, I'm going to grab that as well. So let's go. I got what I needed plus a few extra things. Couldn't help myself. The fruit looked so good. Okay, here is the final product. I haven't tried the hummus yet. Is it good? Did you try it? It is good. Ooh, yay. Fatouche, saffron rice, chicken, and lentil soup. Hello everyone, and happy Tuesday. It's the second day of Ramadan. And, okay, I'm not like hungry. It's just that my energy level is at a zero. Like I am so slow. And everything I do it takes me like 10 times longer like even walking up the stairs usually I'm like running up the stairs and now I'm like okay one foot at a time <laughs> I was planning on staying awake after Fajr because that's what I did yesterday and it was like super productive but I had like zero energy I could not even keep my eyes open so I went back to sleep for like an hour and a half and I woke back up at 10 30 which I actually do not love because I like to get my day started earlier but Y'all know the Ramadan schedule, it just kind of gets thrown off. Anyways, I've just been like doing some work all day and I'm about to start cooking. I'm gonna make mlochia tonight. Mlochia is so easy. Um, you literally just like cook the chicken and put the mlochia in it and it's done. I want to open this box. It is from a small Muslim owned business based in Dallas. I think it's pronounced Hulm, H-U-L-M. And it's basically like Ramadan gift boxes. And they sent me over one, so I'm really excited to see what it looks like because on their Instagram, it's like absolutely stunning. I would have loved to give stuff like this to my family and friends during Ramadan, but I always think of it like after. So next year, I think I'm going to do that. Like send my loved ones just like a little gift at the start of Ramadan. Here is the box. It has the really pretty gold H right here on the front oh my gosh oh this is so beautiful so first you open it up like this how gorgeous is that packaging I love the green I feel like the camera's not picking it up but it's like a light olive green I'm actually gonna give this away to one of the very few Muslim ladies that lives in our town so this will be going to her but this is such a great gift idea I will tag their Instagram handle in the description box guys that wasn't it I realized you lift this up and then there's more stuff underneath are you kidding me so this bismillah little cutting board and then this has duas for iftar and Layla al Qadr I'm so so impressed by this so usually both the dogs would go with my husband to work but since lola is a puppy she is just requires a little bit more attention at the office so john snow stays home with me during the day but today they had some stuff going on so both of them are home with me and this is like a full-time job caring for two dogs like <laughs> this is why they say pets prepare you for kids because they're just so needy and they require lots of attention isn't that right johnny this is her little toy basket that we keep all of her toys in and sometimes she'll like take one out and then come put it back 
and then get the next one she wants. Most of the time she just leaves them everywhere, but it's really cute when she puts her own toy away. <laughs> okay, I just made my healthy no sugar added almond flour chocolate chip cookies. They are so easy. Me and Amanda used to make these a couple Ramadans back and I forgot how easy they are. So it's literally just almond flour, coconut oil, honey, chocolate chips, and then like baking soda, baking powder. I filmed a TikTok and a reel, so I will put that video in the description box so y'all can refer back to it. I'm about to pop these in the fridge and then I'll stick them in the oven after iftar. I bought a bunch of fruit when I went to the grocery store yesterday because it just looks so good. And when you're fasting, like nothing sounds better than some delicious fruit. I honestly don't even know if it's seasoned for any of this fruit, but it just looked so good. I'm literally torturing myself right now. None of this is ripe at the moment, but when it is, we're going to have some delicious pineapple, mango, pomegranate, cantaloupe. So it's 7.03. And Maghrib is at 31 minutes. So I need to finish the mojia. The chicken is in there cooking, but I need to take it out and like pull apart the chicken. I hate cooking whole chickens because just like a raw whole chicken really grosses me out. But it gives more flavor because the bones and everything. So I just have to like pay the price. It would be so much easier with chicken breasts, but it's okay. Um, so I'm going to do that really quick. My rice is cooking, and then basically you just add the mlochia packet to the pot, and that's it. It's so easy. Hello, you guys. It is Ramadan day three, and today has been super uneventful. That's why it is almost 7 p.m., and I'm just now picking up the camera. There was a change of plans for today. We were supposed to be going to Charlotte to shoot some Ramadan outfit inspo, but I had two really big projects to turn in today. And last night, like, I was still not done with them. I still had so many things to do. I needed to steam all the clothes. And then a lot of the pieces that I ordered for the shoot didn't even come in. So I texted Maria and I was like, let's just reschedule it. Like, this is not worth it. Now I'm thinking I'm just going to reschedule it for when I'm on my period so I don't have to be fasting. Because driving two hours um, while you're fasting, I just would rather be able to drink caffeine so I don't get sleepy on the road. Basically, I was just sitting and editing all day long and I feel like a couch potato even though I was not like just sitting for fun. I was doing work, but I just need to take a shower, get freshened up, and get ready for iftar. I can't wait to eat. So thirsty. Honestly, like don't even get hungry. I just get thirsty. I feel like everyone is different. Like my husband tells me he does not care about water at all. Like his main thing it's just food like he just gets hungry i don't know what what makes it different for different people we're gonna eat the leftover mlochia from yesterday because i knew i was gonna be busy today i didn't want to have to cook honestly that is such a hack like cooking enough for two days and like something that's gonna stay good for two days like mlochia is really good on the second day just makes your life so much easier I know. No, the coconut water I drank this morning, Ozzy, literally made the biggest difference. Like, I know I'm super thirsty now, but like all throughout the morning, I was feeling pretty good. I drank the last of it, but I need to get some more. Uh, I only remember when I was just Yeah, it's because it has a lot of electrolytes in it. Yeah, a lot of electrolytes. For tomorrow's soup, should I make lentil soup again or a different kind of soup? Yeah, maybe I'll do like a, I can always do vegetable soup, but we'll see. Have you ever had that Libyan soup? It's like tomato based, but it has meat and like little pasta in it. Oh my God, it's so freaking good. I don't know how, I just, my Layla and her family, they always make it because they're Libyan. It's so delicious. Well, tell Layla to send you a recipe. Oh yeah, that's true. I'll ask her. I'm sure she has it. Chilling. Does she jump on me while sleeping? She always does. I realized I accidentally bought the Mlofia leaves instead of shredded. That's why it's so big. I actually really like it. Really? Okay. Oh, better than the shredded. Okay. The shredded gets really soupy. True. We're eating our iftar Mlofia leftover lentil soup and the hummus that I made the other day. Good morning, you guys. It is. March 14th, Thursday morning. We are on 
day four of Ramadan. Oh my gosh, I swear it always just goes by so fast. That's crazy. Right now I have, I'm talking a little bit quiet because I have a house cleaner here right now. She's upstairs and I'm so excited for this house to get clean. I've been trying to read a couple pages of the clear Quran every morning. This is an English translation of the Quran. Amanda is reading this one as well and she shared with this YouTube channel with me and Lena yesterday that, let me see if I can find it. It kind of like breaks down each surah and like explains it a little better. It is Project Zemzem. And I think, yeah, there's one video for a surah. They're not long at all. They're like between one and three minutes. So I'm gonna try to like read the surah in the Quran and then watch the correlating video. I think that'll be really helpful. So the plan for today, I'm just gonna kind of be hanging out around the house while she's cleaning. But for right now, I'm just gonna read a little bit of the Quran. I have my incense going. The dogs went with my husband to work today, so it's very nice and quiet. <laughs> and I'm really enjoying this little morning routine. Y'all, I'm on the struggle bus. It is 7, 6.57, and iftar is in like 30 minutes, and I am so hungry. I think it's because I wasn't as busy today, so I was just like sitting around thinking about food and like watching TikTok videos of food, and oh my god, I'm craving crumble cookies. Like, they sound so good. So I didn't end up cooking today. We are going to eat at our favorite Indian restaurant. Oh my god, I have been dreaming about this place like all day. And this Indian restaurant is like probably the best Indian food I've ever had. It is so delicious. If you ever visit the Asheville area or live um, in Asheville, we go to Andaz. We get their chicken tikka masala, chicken biryani, their naan that's stuffed with like goat cheese. I'm making myself so hungry. And I, of course, have my little bag of dates to bring with us in the restaurant. I'm waiting on my husband. Where is he? This restaurant is like 40 minutes away and we break fast in 30 minutes, so we gotta go. We literally ordered like five minutes ago and they already have the food out. It was so fast. But I got a butternut squash curry soup. We got some samosas. This is the naan. It has goat cheese inside. It is so delicious. And then Uzi got their corn soup. Delicious. We got lamb biryani, chicken tikka masala, and rice. Okay, we just finished. That food was delicious. I feel like it's the only restaurant we go to. We were saying this, like it's so consistent every time. Like it's just as good every time we go. It's a 10. 10 out of 10. And for him to give it a 10. Uh, yeah, I don't give a lot of 10s. No, that's when you know it's the good. The only two 10s I'll give in my life is this restaurant and you. I so I got the lamb biryani and she was like, what spice level? Like one to five. And I'm like, oh, we'll do three, like just medium. Tell me why I got it and it was so spicy. Like my mouth was literally on fire. And I'm the type, like I'm like too shy to tell someone that I don't like my food. And so she came back and was like, how's the spice level? I'm like, it's pretty spicy. And she's like, well, we can take it back and fix it if you want. So they did, which I felt bad, but honestly, like I couldn't eat it. It was so spicy, so they fixed it so much better so we live like 30 minutes from this restaurant and we realize we're not gonna make it home in time for Maghrib so the Asheville Masjid is like just five minutes from here so we're gonna run by and pray Maghrib really quick hello you guys Jama Mubarak it's the first Friday of Ramadan and me and Uzi are gonna go to Jama we're gonna go to Friday prayers and I'm so excited. He's off on Friday, so it's really nice to get to go together. He's waiting on me downstairs, but I wanted to show y'all my outfit. So this is that same black abaya I was wearing in my last video from Abaya & Co. Underslip is from Veiled Collection. And then my hijab, to be honest, I don't know where it's from. Probably Veiled Collection, but I just did the best I could with styling it. I put a little piece of fashion tape up here. And I don't know, you hijabi girls make it look so easy and effortless and this took me like 10 minutes we gotta hurry so let's go happy saturday y'all we got the whole fam together we're actually going on a hike <laughs> so this is not something i would typically do during ramadan but johnny it's okay we're about to go but uzi he likes to just live his normal life during ramadan he doesn't let it stop him from doing things like going on a hike. So he convinced me and I told him like, we're not gonna do a super hard one. He was wanting to do one that's like nine miles. And I'm like, 
maybe not today. So this one is like a mile and a half. We had to drive an hour to get to the trailhead, but the drive was so beautiful. So honestly, just the drive alone was worth it. And we just got here. So we're gonna go on a hike. And there is a waterfall at the end. I don't know if it's at the end or where exactly it is within the trail, but the dogs are gonna love it. And Jella, love this goes well. It seems to me like the trailhead is the campsite. That's like what right I'm, here? Yeah. So let's see. We definitely have to start them on the leash. The weather is so nice. It's like 70 degrees. It's amazing. Or maybe, no, it's like 65. It's beautiful. Okay, I have my fanny pack. <laughs> Lola! Your daddy's coming back! We have to wait! We have to wait. Um, I need to put this somewhere. Okay. My little fanny pack. I'm just gonna put my Summer Fridays lip balm, my phone, and then I'll put my camera in there. Um, do you want me to get her on the leash too? No, I'll just carry her for now. Okay. Let me figure out the trail first. Okay. I can't, you took the keys. It's fine, we can leave the window open. Yeah. Lola, what do you think? Jon Snow is in heaven. <laughs> so pretty. We're just finishing up our hike. We're almost back to the car. But it has been so nice. Like, I was expecting to be like struggling. I'm not thirsty at all. No, no, what you doing, girl? Um, we probably went a total of like two miles, maybe. But it's just been so nice. And I'm very proud of myself because I did not think I'd be able to do it. But I would do this again. Just wanted to go ahead and close out this video. Thank you guys so much for watching week one of Ramadan. I hope y'all's Ramadan is going amazing so far. We are gonna head home, shower, and prep dinner. Um, I made mince up last night, so we're gonna eat leftovers of that. Lentil soup, fatouche, and then I made some dough this morning for 